we talked about this on the air, and I, I talked to people who said if I put a a, a, a ball of nuts if in a in a room, if I had five different rooms here at the radio station, I put a bowl of nuts in one of them, um, and it was behind like a, a you know something where they couldn't see it. Uh, we walk into the rooms. They said that they would have an allergic reaction when they walked into the room with the with the bowl of nuts. And I, according to what I read from you, that doesn't seem like that would be possible. Um, right, because you know when when you look at it, um, uh, what actually happens in an allergic reaction is that your body reacts to uh, protein allergens uh, from the uh, peanut or the food allergen. Mm -hmm. So your immune system has to be exposed to the protein in order to it to react. Now, when you just have the aroma or smell of something without the actual ingestion, and the only thing that the body comes in contact with is the uh, aroma, there's no protein content in the smell of something. The, the smell of something actually originates from uh, nine protein chemicals called organic uh, compounds, volatile organic compounds, uh, such as, let's say, perfume. Right? So the smell of something results not from the protein content of a substance, from, from these chemicals. And these chemicals, not being proteins, are incapable of triggering an allergic reaction. So in other words... Face on you, buddy boy! I'm right. So all those people who, who wanted to take that bet and come in and do the, the test of walking into the room with the bowl of nuts, you can just send me a check. We don't even have to go through the, <laughs> through the hassle of doing that. 